Why are we here? And what is the purpose that Allah has created all of us different in color, race, culture, languages? Why Allah created all this different? In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us about who we are. Allah said, Ba'dal a'unzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Ya ayyuhal nas Inna khalaqnakum min zakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum min shu'uba wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu Inna akramakum indallahi atqaqum Inna allaha aliman qabir Now this ayah Allah is telling us all people He is not talking to only one race one group of people but He is addressing humanity and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we all was created from Adam and Eve, one man and one woman. And then Allah make us into nation and tribes. And now we are different now. You have Chinese, you have Arabs, you have Malay, you have European, Russian, American, African, Indian, Pakistani. You have so many races. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, the reason I make you in the nation and tribe not to fight against each other but to know each other to complement each other to help each other to live together as a family and the best among us is those who are more faithful to Allah not because of your color your race your name but because of your taqwa and when Allah talk about taqwa the Prophet always reminds taqwa hakunak taqwa hakunak taqwa is your heart in the heart the important thing is our heart now let us look into another ayat is brotherhood important in Islam of course we must learn how to live like a family like brothers and sisters like a big family Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says innama al mu'minuna ikhwa indeed all the believers those who say he believe in Allah who believe in God, the true God, the God of Adam, the God of Noah, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, the God of Jesus, the God of all the creation, Allah Rabbul Alameen, then they should always live like brothers and sisters, like a family. Now we know, if you look back to the history of mankind, history of humanity, Sometimes we fight against each other We become enemy to one another Just because of color Just because of names Just because of race We Allah did not create all this for us to fight with each other no. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us different for a very special reason So that we learn from each other So we will share with each other to show us how beautiful is Allah's creation, how colorful is Allah's creation. Allah Akbar. And then Allah said, being a family as brother and sister in Islam, in Aqidah, they are sure to have some differences of opinion, different values. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind us by saying, فَأَسْلِهُ بَيْنَ أَخْوَيْكُمْ after you become like a family, brothers, sisters in Islam, always be open-minded that you should always rectify, remind each other if there is any disagreement, if there's any argument among us, then we should find a way to find peace among ourselves. And remember, before Islam, all of us are so divided. We don't care about each other. Is kuntum a'da'an, Allah said. Is kuntum a'da'an fa'allafa bayna qulubikum fa'asbahtum bi ni'matihi ikhwana. And Islam is here to remind all the Muslims. I as L-A-M, I shall love all mankind. With the power of love, we overcome all the disagreement, hatred, and all the enmity among us by honoring the right of every individual the way Allah wants us to honor we believe inshallah we will have the brotherhood and the familyhood in Islam again
and when you are together like a big family, nobody can cause harm to us anymore. Nobody can bully us anymore. Because we treat everybody like a family. We don't hate them because of their color, their race, no. As long as all of us make shahada, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Allahu akbar, we are all brothers and sisters in Islam. We only become proud when we become a Muslim who submit to the only one God who created all of us. And then we learn how to live like a big family. So may Allah bless us, may Allah guide us, brother and sister, once again, don't forget the importance of brotherhood in Islam. And may Allah help those who help themselves. وَبِاللَّهِ التَّوْفِيقِ وَالْأَقْرِ دَعْوَنَّا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته